So, welcome back guys. How are you? All right, so I logged out here yesterday. And if you guys understand the message, you will know exactly why I have decided it's time to over-engineer my stuff. Oh, come on. There we go. As, yeah, better safe than sorry, for one. And two, it just makes sense. I've been putting it off for a long time, so I think it's finally time to get it done. I'm actually kind of planning for that, Bluish. Um, the idea is to build several sets of different styles of weapon, etc., etc. That way, if something doesn't work for whatever reason, I can switch to something else. Also, that would be interesting if they were actually weak to mining lasers. That would make, um... That would make small and very maneuverable vessels the way to go. That could be interesting. Hey, Fenrishi, how's it going, man? How are you? Long time no see, bud. You know, I've been wondering that same thing, Plater. Um, I don't really have a good answer for that. Uh, we don't even know how the things move. I, like, we've seen them fly around a little bit, but I can't imagine that they'll be that... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. They seem somewhat static right now. They're not really moving around a whole lot. But I can't imagine it's going to stay that way, you know, if they're actually in combat. Oh, nice, Fenrishi. Your work day's just about done. Work sucks. Playtime is better. <laughs> Bluish. Actually, that wouldn't work. Um, as I understand it, the Thargoids, they, they would die if they were in our atmosphere, and they would probably burn if we even touched them. So, I, I, don't, I don't think that idea is going to work out all that well. At least not personally. Four more jumps. <laughs> That's quitter talk. <laughs> uh, untouchable because I'm going to do it the right way. That's how.
<laughs> oh, hi to you too. <laughs> Yeah, it's still there for now, but supposedly people that are using and abusing it are going to end up being punished. Now, we don't know if that's actually the case. I would assume that it is. And I don't really feel like pushing my luck. So, I, I'm, I'm just not going to use it. <laughs> no worries, Untouchable. And yeah, we were talking about um, tactics and other such things when it comes to fighting Thargoids. Blue suggested that we, uh, we, we pull a Captain Kirk and you know, kill him with bacteria after sexy time. Oh, did they fix it already, Untouchable? There hasn't been a patch. I'm not sure... Unless it was all server-side. It might have been server-side, actually. And that would max That would make sense. <laughs> a clog on the Thargoids. That would be a new one. I'm sure Sir David Braben would be extremely annoyed with us for that one. <laughs> I don't think that works, Blader, because they, they can see you anyway. Uh, yeah, Fenrishi, I saw that. And yes, I, I kind of, I've kind of noticed. It seems like a lot of things are on the other end these days. Which is kind of nice in a way, actually. That might be the rule of camouflage, but I don't know if that's going to apply with Thargoids. Because in the original encounter with them back in January, they could most definitely see us, even though the ship was completely dead at the time. You know, the only things that were running was you know life support and maybe your shields, if you had them. You know, everything else, as far as I could tell, was shut off. And they could still see us. Yes, liking the stream is an important thing, so please do so. You know, I've been wondering that too, Colza, because that's, that's, kind, that's kind of important. You can't fight if you can't move. PvPing around a Thargoid ship is interesting. Yeah, I can only imagine. Pedal power generator. So that means um, bike powered or hamster powered. I almost vote hamster because that'd be funny. West East, why you do this? Uh, Fenrishi, it wouldn't be today, it would be on the weekend. Um, I've started a thing now where if the, if people donate the $75, um, on the, come the weekend, I'll do a bonus stream on the weekend where I do combat or some other such nonsense whilst completely plastered. Missed the mark a little bit there. 
You guys saw nothing. You saw nothing. A horror game drunk. I don't actually have any now that I think about it. <laughs> Finrici. Yeah, see, the thing is, is like, um, I would do something like that, actually. But I don't actually have the things to do that with right this minute. So, this, this, this is helping me get to that point and assuming things work out, I may actually start doing something like that. That's actually, that's a good idea. The man's a genius. But yeah, but assuming the donation goal gets hit, I'm also putting up a straw poll that'll have like uh, three or four different options on it that will have, um, it, it'll be like three or four different types of booze and people that vote will get to choose what I actually drink on stream. Oh, I saw that actually, Colza. I was very interested by that. Okay, so I am going to switch to this ship because I need to see what's actually on it to know what I need to do. And hello. I'm not even sure what that name is, but hello. <laughs> How are you, man? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so let's see what's actually on this thing. Da, outfitting. Stopped. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I wasn't sure what it was, and I didn't want to butcher it, because... I don't know, some people don't really like having their names butchered. You're out of fuel. Please help. Where are you? Okay, so let's see. Da, da. The only good ones are... Yeah, that's the only good one. The others are kind of nick. Oh, these are all grade fours, though, too. Mm, so I think step number one is going to be to uh, sh do shield boosters, probably. So let me think. What do I need for shield boosters? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't remember right offhand. Ah! Ooh, Fenrishi. That yeah, that that sounds dangerous. And see, I haven't hardly done any drinking whatsoever for about ten or eleven years, give or take. So I I anticipate this being extremely interesting. Should uh should should the goal, should the goal get hit? Okay, let's see. Resistance augment shield booster. It is. I know it's imperial shielding. Refined focus crystals and conductive ceramics. Uh, da 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 da. Conductive ceramics. So I'll transport ships and some other stuff. Imperial shielding. I kind of remember where to get those. And refined focus crystals I think I can get from combat ships too. So conductive ceramics it is. That's where we'll start. Actually, no, wait, we need to go back to that, because I may end up having to uh travel a little ways. So I'm actually gonna take one of these off. And we're gonna put a fuel scoop in here. Okay, so let's hit the galaxy map here. Da -da -da. State. Well, not state. Government. I think Anarchy is really the only one I want right now. If I'm going to be killing trade ships for conductive ceramics. Oop. There we go. All right, let's see. Ooh, 5.3 million in a boom state. Wow. 
the higher the population, the better. 2.1 billion. And it's not even that far. Let's go that way. Excellent. Oh, savage, Nathan. Well, yeah, those of you that uh, haven't liked the stream yet, if you could, I would very much appreciate it. All right, let's go. Oh, come on. There we go, that's what I'm after. I hate mask lock. Actually, that's one of the things that I'm trying to understand how it works. Is certain things don't make sense. Like, uh, a station will mask lock you. But then, capital ships don't as much. Even though they're, some of them are roughly the same size. Like, outposts will mass lock you, even though they're not all that large. But then the distance that you have to move away from something like a planet and, say, an outpost, don't make sense. You only have to be about two and a half kilometers away from a planet before you can wake out. But then with an outpost, it's about six, give or take. Pimp out the ox ride. Heck yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, bluish, that's a good point. That's actually a really good point. I didn't even think of that one. The FSD magic. Hand wavium. It works because we say it does. Now, that, and I get the feeling it's mostly just for gameplay stuff, which, I mean, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Nav beacon. You guys are about to witness the death of many innocent traitors. Maybe the capital ships have anti-gravity generators. Uh, I don't know about that. That'd be interesting. Oh yeah, Thunderpants, you've got the right idea. You can really only make it so realistic before it does start hurting the gameplay. I have I have a sneaking suspicion that the way Mass Lock works is more gameplay related than it is anything else. But yeah, size doesn't necessarily equal mass. That is exactly true. But um, there's there's no way an outpost weighs more than a planet. Alright, don't much care about that guy, but there's something else down here. Who is it? An eagle? Don't really care about the eagle. Ah, that's what I want, right there. And bang. Bang. Explode, you. Alright, let's see. What did he drop? Did he drop what I want? He did. Well, one of the things I want, anyway. I don't know why you're scanning me. I don't even have a cargo hold. Not worth bothering with it. exactly. More conductive ceramics. This is good. This is why traders play in Mobius. Well,
It's an and it's an NPC. His life doesn't matter. And you know what? I'll pick up the conductive polymers while I'm here too, just because I don't see these very often. All right. Uh, let's see. You know what? Ooh, someone just jumped in. Who is that? A holler. This counts as a trade ship, right? You have respect for NPCs. They don't combat log. <laughs> you know, that's true. Uh, I'm not worried about that guy. I just want this thing. Bang. It's not even worth using a cannon shot on this guy. Alright, let's see. Anything good? Nope. Ooh, there's a python. Does python count as a trade ship? Hammering payback. Nah, that seems like a combat ship to me. Ask scout, maybe? I don't know. This guy's just kind of hanging around in a DBX. I think it's time to get rid of him. I have missiles. I don't even have to try with these guys. That's almost disappointing. There. Panther Clipper? That would be interesting. Uh, I need refined focus crystals. No refined. Ooh, type 6. Perfect. Panther Clipper would be interesting. I've actually been wanting to see one in game for a long time. Yeah, I can I can kind of see that trip. I mean it's kind of a double edged sword. And technically an anaconda would count as a trade ship by that logic. Well, yeah. I mean, it kind of is. It kind of isn't at the same time. You know, variable definitions and all that. And dead. Conductive ceramics. More. I need more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's another one. We'll grab that one real quick. Unlimited power. Uh, what? Is that Star Wars? Or is that... I almost feel like an idiot. Because there's a movie that I heard that in recently. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what it was. And I've somehow moved quite a ways away from the beacon. Episode. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, Tori Pavo, how's it going? Ooh, 
Oh, someone jumped in. Who is that? Who is that? A DBX. A tiny sidewinder size class 7 FSD that would be interesting that could actually be quite interesting now that I think about it and dead Let's see what he dropped. Focus crystals. Nothing I really want. God dang it. Masp Explorer over there. Let's get it. Maybe. I saw something that looked like laser fire over here. Now it's gone. Either there's something jumping out or I'm losing my mind. Oh, I'm doing all right, Tari Pavo. Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting away from me. There you go. See, he's got his hard points out now. You're stuck. And bang. 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 Anything I want. Mechanical components, chemical manipulators, I'll take that. A flying FSD used just for travel. A hundred light year range. A hundred light year base range, that would be crazy. Okay, I don't know how that worked, even though that was a good ways off, but whatever. Conductive polymers. I picked up one earlier, that should be good. Alright, how many of these conductive ceramics do I have now? Twelve. Hmm... With four boosters, I'm thinking I should probably grab at least one or two more before I call it good on that stuff. Yeah, Plater, I would love some more niche ships. Hey, CK. No, I'm actually not using rapid fire. Um, I'm actually using efficient five is what I'm using right now. And the whole idea for that was to reduce the distributor draw that way I can maintain fire virtually indefinitely. Like if I put um, it's either three or three and a half pips on weapons, I can fire them indefinitely. This guy's in a wing of three. Last one's down there, and they're all eagles. Why are they all eagles? But they're eating up the spawns here, so time to die.
And he's dead. Let's move on. Um, I'm not really sure, the convoy beacons anyway. I don't really check them that often. Because the last time I went to something like that, I didn't, uh... I was destroying things left and right, and it never seemed to... Never seemed to give me what I was after. There he is, he's up this way. A whole bunch of eagles. Why is it nothing but eagles around here? Oh, Nathan. Here, if you really feel like dropping in, go ahead. Okay. Da, 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 da. A lot of eagles. Why so many eagles? I was certainly hoping so too, Coldza. That would have been ideal, at least in my mind. These guys die way too easy. Uh, third person view column? No, not really. I mean, kind of. We do have a debug cam. It looks like this. And with several different views. You know, see like this is uh, the bottom side of the ship. So like right there you can see... You know, let me... There you go. From this angle, um, that there in the very center is where my... Uh, like where my weapon is at. Yeah, I can deploy my landing gear. And I can turn that off too. That it's annoying. And then there's like the cargo hatch, which is right back there. Um So yeah, there's there's all kinds of different views that you can do with this. Um, including I can put it in free cam mode and I can move it around, zoom out, zoom in. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the last time I went to, say, like a convoy beacon or anything like that, I would drop in, kill trade ships, but they wouldn't drop any materials. Period. Like, it just wasn't working at all. So, I don't know if that was intended, or if that one was just bugged, or whatever, but it happened, I think, three or four times in a row, so I've kind of given up on using them. And these useless eagles are eating up all my spawns. Go away. Hey, thanks for the sub, Colin. Engineering burst lasers. Actually, yes, I have. I did engineer a set of efficient burst lasers at one point, and I actually do like them quite a bit. Um, I would suggest with burst lasers, if you're not really, really good with fixed weapons, I would suggest sticking with gimbaled with bursts, but it is a thing. They are usable. Uh, let's see, anyone? Where's that vulture? I'm gonna leave a vulture alone. This guy, though. Th this guy, I'm not gonna leave him alone. Mm, 
And then there's this guy. Okay. Still that guy around here. Ooh, someone else jumped in. Oh, it's Nathan. Hey, Camo, how's it going, bud? I love the cannon on this thing way too much. Find focus crystals. I can actually use those. Three large rapid fire phasing sequence burst lasers. Um, mine have phasing sequence on them, and they also. Yeah, my, my pulses are phasing sequence. Um, that's just kind of a standard for me. You don't necessarily have to use those if you don't want to, obviously. But the setup for me works quite well. It just does. It kind of depends on your personal taste. Some people prefer just the raw damage on shields without having it bleed through. And personally, this setup that I'm using now is more focused on module sniping anyway. Oh, let's see, anything else that I need that I'm that's out here at the moment? I don't think so. Well, there used to be Thunderpants. They actually nerfed the bleed through on phasing sequence not that long ago. Um, I think it was a 10% reduction or something like that. But yeah, it's it's not as um, it it doesn't hit quite as hard as it used to. That much is for sure. Uh, don't see anything in that list that I need. That's not what I wanted. Oh, um, Trip, I am working on just over-engineering everything, finally. And I will be working specifically with this ship on building several different sets of weapons for it that way it can hopefully that way like if say its current build is say ineffective against thargoids or anything like that you know i can switch to something that hopefully will be oh stand still i'll have to wait for that thing to actually stop moving Yeah, that is the only real drawback on multi cannons is the ammo. Otherwise, they're they're the damage kings, but you can only use them for so long. There's an adder. Does this count as a trade ship? It probably does. Like, I would assume so. If it doesn't, close enough.
Another refined focus crystal. Where's that thing hiding it? Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll kill these guys first. Okay, now let's let's go through this list of list of things. What am I thinking their weaknesses are going to be? I'm not really sure. Um, the list of things that could possibly be a weakness for them is fairly short. Um, at least as far as I'm aware. Now. I am thinking that um, radiation of different types is probably going to be something that hurts them the most, which would mean, at least in theory, that lasers could potentially be more damaging. I mean, they are biological, and biological things are usually very sensitive to radiation and other things like that. So that's that, that's that's my running theory at the moment. Yeah, laser builds do work really well for conflict zone farming and stuff like that, just because of no ammo restrictions. Ooh, kill back. That works. Hey, how's it going? Uh, heat possibly too, George. Yes, you're absolutely right. Especially considering that um, Thargoids... From as I, as I understand it, it can't survive in atmospheric temperatures that humans do. Um, so there, there is that. I am wondering if perhaps uh, heat weapons could be effective against them. Even though they're broke as all heck in PvP, but, you know. Maybe that was the whole idea originally? I'm not sure. Yeah, Keelback's actually kind of tough. There he goes. Conductive components. I think I need ceramics more. Yeah, actually I've got about the same amount of both, but I'm not sure I actually need components. At least not that I remember right offhand, anyway. Uh, on the live build, but the last I heard, it was looking like the multi cannons were back to being a little stupid in the beta. I don't know if that. I haven't actually had a chance to test that out, so I don't know if that's actually a thing. If it is a thing, I'm going to be a little disappointed.
<laughs> Turbo. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, Cold, uh, the last I heard, um, I don't know, Untouchable, if you're still floating around in here somewhere, people were getting up to 110% with the multis and beta. Now, it doesn't sound like much, but it does add up over time. And it makes it so you literally can't do anything without, um, without overheating yourself to some pretty crazy extents. Stargoids are still going to avoid open play after all the trolling. Well, they need thicker skin. Yeah, five minutes of fighting at 110%, and yeah, that's that's exactly right. Like, it's not much initially, but, you know, over time, you really can't do anything about it. I mean, you could load up on heat sinks, I and mean, that is a thing, but I'm not sure... Uh, a lot of ships aren't going to be able to deal with that. Because you can only have... So many utilities. And with needing things like, you know, shield boosters and other things, you know, so you can survive, there really isn't much room for heat sinks. Conductive components... Yeah. Ooh, wait. Type 7. I don't want fish. Yeah, I don't have a cargo bay. I'm not here for cargo. I don't know, Turbo. If they're fast at all... Yeah, I don't know. Like, what we've seen, they don't look like they're all that fast, but uh, who knows? We really haven't seen anything of them yet, as far as I'm concerned. Conductive polymers, basic conductors, not what I'm after. Yeah, fragment cannons, though. If there is any alpha damage weapon that should, in theory, do damage, it would definitely be frag cannons. Frag frag cannons and plasma. I would assume rails, too, just because the dying clown, they're rails. But who knows? We just don't know enough about them. I would think so, too, Turbo. No, they don't use, um... How, how their ships actually behave is anyone's guess, though. I've said it before, and I'll say it a thousand times till I'm blue in the face. We just don't know enough. Not yet, anyway. Did the guy not drop anything? Okay, maybe it's that stuff. Conductive components. Conductive polymers. Doesn't look like anything I need. God dang it. You know, I was wondering the same thing, because they do have some very unique um, drive characteristics. And it does make me wonder... You know, that could be a thing, Colza. Because I have been wondering how um, Space Legs is going to work when... It gets introduced. I mean, granted, that's probably quite a ways away, but you know.
Alright, now, let's take out the wing. Might as well. The combat ships are eating up all the spawns. Well, I'm not actually sure if we're getting new equipment to fight the Thargoids or not. He, I, it was mentioned yesterday, you know, about like new shields and new armor, that kind of thing. But I feel like he might be talking about um, the way the Thargoids are equipped, not us. I mean, that could be a thing. I'm, I'm not really sure. I feel like that that's the likely explanation for everything that was said yesterday. Man. Uh, yeah. I, I would be very pissed off about that too, Coldza. I'm not even sure. Ugh. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure I would play a whole lot after that, to be perfectly honest. Normal item system? I don't know about that. That doesn't really fit with Elite. Just period. I mean, it's not an MMO like we're used to seeing, you know, with like WoW, um, the Star Wars Galaxies, and other ones like that. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, I do like um, like the slider idea that got brought up quite a while ago for um, for the engineers. I like that a lot better than I do the current setups with all this RNG. I am not a fan of having a game based entirely off of RNG and nothing else. And it seems like Elite is based very, very, very heavily off RNG. And it does... Oh, it, grind, it grinds my gears in the worst way. But for all of its faults, though, this game does keep me coming back for more. All the time. So, I can't say anything too bad. Pick up one more of these proto light alloys, I think. Mostly just because I don't see them all that often. A little random, but check out that star, though. With three separate instances of ejecta coming off that thing at one time, it must be pissed off. Uh, I don't know about that, Sean. Uh, it seems a little much. Because if you're going to spend the time to, you know, to, to grind out the money that you need to buy modules, etc., etc., I don't think the module should be based at all on RNG. I mean, it, it seems like a waste of time, especially like if your luck is just bad. 
and then, yeah. I don't know. It just, uh, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. And there goes Nathan. Huh. Yeah, I, I would hope you're kidding, Sean, because that would, oh, God. The amount of crazy that would drive me. Ugh. Well, I went right past the power plant. So there we go. That's what I want. Buy a power plant, get docking computer. <laughs> that, oh, that would be beyond annoying. I don't even know what to call that. It's just a sidewinder. I'm not worried about it. There we go. See, conductive ceramics. That's what I want. Yeah, I hear you on that one, Thunderpants. The, um... For me... I don't know, some of my... Some of my luck with rolls is really good some days. Other days, it's really bad. You no, know, it... just kind of depends. Weapon rolls, I usually do okay. FSD rolls seem to be what I do the best on, but thruster rolls, the drives, uh-uh. I have the worst luck. Bang. He's dead. Chemical processors, shield emitters, conductive components. Okay. Get that off a of sidewinder. That's fine with me. Then I think after this, the only other thing I'm going to need is the uh, Imperial shielding, and then I'll be able to reroll my boosters. Yeah, Vortex, I kind of like that. That wouldn't be so bad. The modified embedded firmware. <laughs> you know, I don't have a problem with MEF for the most part. For me, it's cracked industrial. Different music types for the docking computer and FDev store purchase. I suppose that could be a thing. Connective components, 14. So then it was the other one. Refined focus crystals. How many of those do I have? 18. Okay, that should be enough to start out with. Let's see about going to an Imperial system. And I think it was like Imperial system, boom state, something like that. Or is it famine? I almost want to say it's famine, which doesn't make sense. Imperial systems. And for a high population one, 1.5 billion. Yeah, let's go check it out. Why not? Uh, cracked industrial firmware, that's for uh, Dirty Drive 5, is what most of us use it for. That's certainly what I use it for, and I think I need it for something else, too. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. All I know is that I need as much of it as I can get. Hey, Andy, how's it going? Yep. Yeah. The uh, charge enhanced power distributor and dirty drive fives. Now the distributor on mine is 
okay. Um, its charge rate is overruled, but its capacity is really low. That's something that um, I plan on trying to fix at some point. That might actually be part of my over-engineering process on this thing. Now that I think about it for a little bit. Yeah, I know, Andy. Your, your engineering luck is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not even sure how many rolls I've actually done. I've done quite a few, but nowhere near as many as uh, some of you hardcore fellas. Hey, Rogi, how's it going, man? How are you? Okay. Oh, right now, Rogi, we're working on um, getting some materials that I need so I can start engineering this uh, this FDL just a wee bit more. Is um, after yesterday's announcement, I think it's time to uh, over engineer the ever living heck out of this thing. Yeah, that sounds about right, Turbo. You need truckloads of SIF. It's used for so many things that we want, but it's also not very common. That would be actually, that would be kind of nice too, Colts. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, you just you just seem to have better luck than I do with uh, with the engineering materials. Uh, it is, yeah, it it can take me a long time to find what I'm after. Uh, Daniel, I wouldn't... It depends on what ship you're after. If you're fighting, say, against a cutter or something like that that has, you know, really... Uh, like, their, their shield modules have a lot of integrity, then two medium torpedo launchers isn't going to be enough. You'll need more than that. Hey, look at that high grade. Let's hope there's Imperial shielding in here. One can dream. Hopes and dreams, guys. Hopes and dreams. You know, see, I don't usually have that much uh, bad luck when it comes to MEF. Typically, anyway. Um, no, actually, that's that's a new one to me, Thunder. Now we're hitting this one. There we go. Imperial shielding! Yes! Uh, 
There's at least one in here. Let's hope there's more. The RNG god smiled on me in that moment. Oh, it's all Imperial shielding. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. All right, that that's... Let's see, four, three, yeah. RNG is not good, Andy, but in this moment, it did me a favor. I can't complain too much. At least not not right now. We'll we'll wait and see what the rolls come out like a little bit later. Okay. Da -da -da. Now let's see. That's what I think. That's twelve, isn't it? Yes, twelve. Oh, Rogi, we get three because originally when the Engineers was first introduced, we only used to get one. Uh, we get three because Frontier decided to you know, help us with the materials grind a bit because it was a little... Uh, it, w it was a little nonsense, to put it nicely. Uh, you know what? Now I don't even remember what system she is in. Oh, Dee Dee. Leasty. That's right. It's all the way up in Alliance territory, basically. Yeah, I don't necessarily blame you for wanting to avoid it. Is I know, I, I sure would avoid the engineer grind if I could. Uh, it's just one of those things that you, know, you, you kind of have to do it if you really want to be you know, competitive at the top level. But, yeah, You can still have plenty of fun in this game without it. I have a lot of ships, actually, that have no engineering done to them whatsoever. Yeah, I do wish they would have balanced it a bit more. Yeah, Andy, you've got it right on the head. Right there. The grind is such utter BS. But once it's over with, the ship that you're left with is... really nice, I'm not gonna lie. And there's a lot of people out there that just don't have the time to invest in that kind of thing. In you know, does it take away from their game that they can't compete at the top level? Well, yes and no. That's one of those ones where people want to be able to compete at the top level to a certain extent without having to put in too much time investment. It's one of those, it's it's a hard to balance, but RNG I don't think is the way to do it. Well, Razor, it feels that way, but it's not necessarily true. I've done a fair bit of combat recently in unengineered ships, and you can do it. It just relies a lot more on piloting skill than it does on the engineering modules themselves. And I think that's one thing that people may be abusing the engineers with a little bit is using engineered modules as a substitute for piloting skills. I mean, not necessarily an inherent bad thing, but it does make unengineered ships a lot more difficult for some people to use.
The NPCs actually don't really use mods at all. Uh, only... I think it's Dangerous and Up. Dangerous, Deadly, and Elite. Those three ranks. I think they're the only ones that actually do any mods at all. Anything lower than that, or it's all vanilla. Yeah, Andy, I can imagine you're probably about burnt out on engineers, period, by now. It makes me wonder how many does it. And use up to level three mods. Yeah, I I was about to. Th I was actually sitting here thinking, grade five mods on NPC might be a little overkill. Wonder if the engineering will allow us to stop being turned off by Thargoids. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out, Rogi. I kind of hope that Palin or some one of these engineers comes up with something that we can use to, you know, to not be EMP'd into oblivion every time they show up. Yeah, that's the the limit on materials. It makes me wonder what the purpose of that was. I mean, it seems a little arbitrary, but I also wonder if perhaps that has something to do with uh, uh, a, a game engine limitation or a server side thing. I'm not really sure. They never did explain it, and I would be curious to know what their reasoning behind that actually is. You know, I kind of hope so, too, actually. Um, the regular NPCs just aren't all that challenging. And Thargoids, I'm hoping, are genuinely scary. That would make me very happy. And, yes, hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Individual material caps. That kind of makes sense. But uh, I don't understand why we should have a cap on it anyway. I mean, mm, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I hope so too, Razor. I hope so too. The quality of life coming up after 2.4, so say um, 3.0 and forward those those changes had better be good there's a lot of people that are really really waiting for something like that to come through and and, and be genuinely worthy elite resource extraction sites full of goids well I don't know. I'm not sure any miner would ever go into a, an extraction site knowing that there's Thargoids in there. Just saying. Yeah, that, that I can agree with, Rogi. Like... If they're gonna put a cap in, it needs to be pretty high, but also, like, not high enough to be stupid silly.
Uh, see, personally, Razor, I haven't had any trouble with multi-crew. I mean, the times that I use it, it's gone pretty smooth. So I, I guess your results may vary? Which is kind of a crappy thing to say about something that um, should be a lot more major. I don't know, is that the right word? Is that what I'm looking for? Because Sif mining, you'd go? Yeah, okay, okay. I don't think you can mine asteroids for Sif, I'm just saying. Uh, what do you mean by functionality, Coldza? That's... that sucks, Razor, because my internet connection is actually not all that great. Um, I have 60 meg down, but I only have a 5 meg up. Now, that's actually one of the reasons why I can't take the, um, the stream quality over what it is now. So, yeah. So my internet connection is not all that great, but it does well enough for the most part. And even then, my rig's not all that strong either. I mean, it does well for the most part. It has some limitations. Like, I'm still using an AMD uh, FX8350. Yeah, you've got that fiber going on, Razor. Yeah, see, I'm using an AMD FX8350 as a CPU, but I have a GTX 1070 as a GPU. Oh, maybe not an ideal setup, but it does work. And I'm actually using the video card to uh, encode the live stream instead of the CPU. That's the only reason you're getting uh, 1080p 60fps right now. If I was trying to do it off the CPU, uh, no, it'd never work. Yeah, the 8350 is a good CPU for its time, but... It, when you're trying to do live streams and video encoding like I do, uh, it's really showing its age. But yeah, the stream, see the stream is actually being encoded off my graphics card. The CPU is doing virtually none of the work at all. No, I'm, I'm using the video card for um, both, both to render the game and the stream. 8350 get fairly hot. It, a lot of people say it does. But mine actually is not. Mine is water-cooled, but it's a small radiator. I'm only using a 120 millimeter water cooler. So, as a matter of fact, I can probably... Hmm... Let's see if I can pull it up and show it to you guys on stream. I'm going to try. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to add a... Let's see. Window capture. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Afterburner. I guess that's what it is. Okay, you guys should be able to see uh, MSI Afterburner on screen now. So, my GPU temperature, even with everything going on right now, is only sitting at 47 degrees. Ain't. Yeah, pretty much all the time, a constant 46 to 47. So, we can go back, you know, quite a ways here. Nothing but smoothness. And then, let's see... Even though it's encoding the stream, you know, GPU usage, 40s, 
50s, you know, with some small spikes, you know, up to 71, but nothing heavy. Uh, fan speed staying in, in the 50s. Uh, let's see. Now let's go down to CPU. CPU temperature. You know, I'm sitting in the low 40s on the CPU. So for an 8350, um, it's doing pretty well, I think. Most 8350s with the game and everything else running would probably be sitting in the 60 plus degree neighborhood. No, oh, there you go. Yeah, no problem. I when it comes to computer stuff, okay. I'm a huge computer guy. I love PCs and I love messing with them and getting as much out of a PC as you can possibly get. So you know, temperatures, GPU stuff, all this thing, you know, that's, I, I love messing with this stuff, and I'm more than happy to talk about it, because I love geeking out over this stuff. Yeah, mine actually isn't overclocked right now. I've considered overclocking it, because with the temperatures the way they are on my CPU now, I figure I can get away with overclocking without actually taking much of a hit on temperature. At least it seems that way. So, one of these days I'm going to try it. Just to see what happens. Because, mm, why not? Stays in the low 40s with a 240. That's not bad. You probably, with the overclock, if it's stable, you could run it higher than that would be my guess. I mean, just based off of what you said there. All right, let's see. Over there. Yeah, a good graphics card does wonders for a system. That's one of the reasons why I'm glad I have the 1070. Is it's it just performs really well. It's not an overly huge beast, but for its price, it does extremely well. And this CPU doesn't take advantage of it as much as it could. Not at all. Okay, so let's restock everything. We'll refuel. Engineer Workshop. Shield Boosters. Alright, so I should have enough for up to three rolls on any of these boosters. So I'm going to start with... Uh, let's see, resistance, augment, this one. Because this one here it stands to do nothing but gain. Just period, nothing but gain. Uh, generate. Let's see what we get. Better. Mm, I can live with that. We'll go ahead and apply it because that's already better than what I was using before. Hey, no problem, Rogi, and take care. We'll see you whenever you come back. Uh, yeah, Thunderpants, that makes sense. The, the whole, um, 
lifespan of CPUs thing is one of the reasons why I've been hesitant to overclock mine. I want to, but I'm just not sure that it's a good idea. That's one of the things that keeps me from doing it. And I'm gonna figure out which ones of these would benefit the most. I think maybe this one? Probably this one. No, wait, no, this one's the highest one. <laughs> a grade 4 roll that outdoes the max roll on a grade 5. Figure that one out. Alright, so I think it was this one. Yeah, they're both roughly the same. So we'll just go ahead and re-roll this one. 0.06 ton mass increase. I can live with that. Uh, the power I'm not worried about. I got plenty of extra power. Oh, let's apply that one. Alright, and then this one. Resistance augment. Don't fly without rebuy counts on PCs too. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, I can live with that one too. Okay, that one I'm going to leave alone because I think getting an overroll that will beat that is going to take a lot of patience and time. So, let's see. I'm going to roll this one again and we'll see what happens. If I can get some overrolls in here, that'd be nice. Ah, like this! Like that. Just like that, actually. Ha ha ha! Ah, that worked out perfectly. Explosive is almost the same. I'm well into diminishing returns on explosive anyway, so I'm not I'm not even worried. Kinetic and thermal. Bingo. Okay, let's see, so that was that one. Let's hit this one next. See if we can force this one into an overroll. Nope. Let's try again. Yeah, resist boosters at 14.5% each is... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. At 14.5% each is crazy. Oh, there we go! Perfect! Power draw is a little heavy, but that's fine with me. A 14.9, 14.2, 14.2. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think this one? Yep, this one. Let's see if we can force this one into an overroll. If I can overroll on all of them, that would be epic. Pretty much the same. I wonder if that works, applying it and then redoing it. I'm just curious. Kind of. Strangely enough. 13.5 on thermal. Yeah, we'll apply that one. And then let's try it again, though, because I want to see if I can push it just a little more. I still got four rolls left. I run four. I run four boosters on the FDL right now. Um, and they're all resists. So, is I rely on the regen rate of my shield. That's, that's, that's just how I am. Uh, there we go. Overrolled on thermal a little bit more and max rolls on kinetic and explosive. Now we'll go ahead and apply that one. And let's try it again. Um, no, that's on the heavy duty boosters. That's on heavy duty. You can run up to four regular shield boosters 
without suffering from diminishing returns on the Mega Jewels. Well, you know, even then, I don't really, I don't remember that they actually put that in with the Mega Jewel stacking. It's with the resistant stacking, there's, you get diminishing returns once you hit, uh, it starts to kick in at like 40 or 50% or something like that. And then it hard caps once you get to, I think it's 75. Why am I not rolling on the G4? I'll show you why I'm not rolling on the G4. Because the G4 is already outrolled a grade 5 without a massive overroll. You would need a massive overroll to beat it, even with grade 5. Which is kind of crazy, because I rolled my grade 4s before they changed the um, resistance window. Like, they nerfed the resistance to augment boosters several months ago, and I rolled these grade 4s before that happened. So, yeah, when they, um, when they changed my booster rolls accordingly, this one is still well above a grade 5. So there's, there's not much point in rolling on that one. As I'll get more benefit out of overrolling this one. Even though it didn't overroll this time. I mean, that's okay. I still got... No, try again. Uh, two more rolls on these. So let's see what happens. Nope. Let's try one last time, because that's all I'll have. Nope. Okay, but I am curious to see what my uh, resistances are actually at now. Oh, and I'm 1% away from the next combat rank. Oh. There we go. Okay, so 57.2 kinetic, 45.9 thermal, 68.5 explosive. So it's a little bit higher than it was before. I lost a little bit on the Mega Jewel rating because I had a secondary on one of those boosters that gave me some extras. So I went from 715 Mega Jewels down to 683, but that's okay because my region rate makes up for it. Well, it depends on how you have your shield set up, Thunderpants. Personally, um, I run bi-weaves on my FDL. I mean, fancy. Well, we'll come down here into outfitting, and I'll actually show you guys what my shielding looks like. Okay, so on the optionals, a class 5 by weave. And normally I run two, two cell banks. I'll have two class 4A cell banks in here. Uh, one of these is a fuel scoop right now so I can travel around. And so then I have the class 5 by weave that right now has a grade 3 thermal resist mod on it. So that gave me, it went from minus 20% to plus 13.5. So an overall of plus 33.47% on thermal resistance just with that. And I only lost 8.1%, well, 8.2 if you want to round, on kinetic. So not a big deal there. Uh, mass actually went down a little bit, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, so that's the actual shield itself. Uh, I will be changing that to a prob I will probably be changing that to a grade 5 thermal resist at some point in the very near future. And then you guys saw all of my boosters already, but here we go. So there's this one here. Yeah, so plus 14.2% resistance across the board with kinetic being 14.9. And there's this one, which is plus 
Yeah, plus 12, 5, 13, 9, 12, 5, and then this one's 13, 7. So we're running plus 13% across the board now, pretty much. I think this one. Yeah, this one here is the second best booster that I have, and this is the grade 4. The best one that I have is this one. The 14 twos. Yeah, it's four weeks with the power play. It, um, Vortex has it right on the nose. It's four weeks aligned. But then right before you hit that four week mark, you grind out the rank for grade three. Um, and you're good. Now, you don't have to farm Grade 3 every single week. As a matter of fact, um, I'm getting Enforcer Cannons this week. Uh, let's see. So, we'll come over here. I'll show you guys what I actually did. I actually just ground out the Power Play nonsense uh, a couple days ago, so I didn't have to do it during the week. So, rating. Yeah, I've been pledged for way too long because I, I hate Power Play, so I don't have... Mm, you don't have to do it the way I did. But... 754 merits is what I ground out. Grading 3 unlocks at 750. And Enforcer Cannons. So, come, come morning time, uh, that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll be buying my Enforcer Cannons and stashing them away. I have a Diamondback Scout build that I'm going to do with the Enforcer Cannons. That's the whole point of this. But then i got to figure out what... Um, what uh, what power play module to go for next, or if I'm even going to bother. As I'm not a fan of pack hounds. I don't like them, so I don't think I'm going to bother. Uh, advanced plasma, maybe. That could be a thing. Okay, so let's see. I think... For the moment, I am actually done with shielding. Let's see, what does that leave me... Weapons. The only thing on this that I want to change right now is the cannon. Which means I need to do some engineer unlocks. Which requires other ships besides this one. Uh, if you don't have them already, Nathan, I would go Advanced Plasma. Which I think is, um, is Denton? Denton Patrius? Denton Petraeus? Patrius? The mining lasers, absolutely not, Kaz. Fleet of a dozen ships just for storing prismatics. You don't use module storage, you heretic. Has anyone watching this actually used the power play mining lasers? I'm I'm just I am really curious. Module storage is full? Good god. I think I have um right around 30 out of my 60 slots used, give or take. Something like that. That sounds about right. No, you haven't used them? I, I, I want to find someone that has, because I have so many questions about those things. See, so uh, let's see. APAs. Yeah, APAs. I think it's gonna be my next one. Just so I can have some in case I ever need or want them.
<laughs> Nathan. <laughs> Alright, see ya, CK. Take it easy, man. Uh, yeah, I can see that vortex. I when I got my prismatics, I only bought up to class six, I think. Yeah, I think it's class six, and that's just because um, I don't really fly the big ships very often, so I think class six will do me just fine. Mining is profitable if you're really lucky. Or if you're like a certain person I know who finds mining extremely serene and just loves to do it. I don't understand that, but whatever. Yeah, the class 8s are expensive. The class sevens are kind of pricey too. That's why I didn't buy them. I stopped at six. And that was about the most I could do without uh, breaking the bank even more. Only seventy. Yeah. I think at the time when I had got access to Prismatics, I only had um, about 300 million, give or take, sitting around to be used. So I didn't, uh, I, I didn't bother buying a whole mess of nonsense. I just bought the ones that I knew I was actually going to use. <laughs> if you hate really big rocks, mining could be for you. I don't know why would you want to sit there and stare at the very thing that you hate. I mean, that would be like me staring at my ex. It seems like nonsense to me. I didn't mind mining when you were doing it for engineering. Well, you're just glad when you were done. I hated every second of it, doing it for the engineering crap. I don't think the uh, the Serene Miner is actually watching right now. If he is, I'd be surprised. But I don't think he actually is right now. But I get to shoot lasers at her. Well... I'm not sure what I would mind besides her tears. <laughs> Cold's it. No, I mean when um, I had a python that I built way back in September. It sounds about right. Either like late September, early October. And that's how I unlocked Celine Jean was mining with that uh, mining with that python. I hated every second of it. <laughs> Mine salt from people who hate mining. Seems legit. Ooh, vortex. So here's another idea. 2.4 will be power play 2.0 with a Thargoid faction. That's interesting. Though I'm not sure how that would work, because I don't think Thargoids are particularly fond of us to begin with. Thargoid faction played by Lord Braben. 
I don't know. I hear tell he's not a very good pilot, so that would that wouldn't be very fun. Yeah, it, I will say it did go fairly quick. Uh, it wasn't as fast as I would have liked, but it wasn't overly slow though either. The part that I hated was when I was trying to find Painite and couldn't find a dang thing, period. I had to have a couple of friends of mine drop in. Yeah, it took me six or seven hours or so to get like three or four tons worth of Painite. They drop in and find, you know, almost 40 tons inside of 20 minutes. I was so mad. And that's not a scoopable star. Why are you on my route? Turn-based RPG for Thargoids. Interesting. And ten times worth of Painite in five hours. Yeah. I, I wasn't even that lucky. You plot her out to something in the system map, you don't get the filter. That sounds like a bunch of nonsense. I don't know why that would be. Although that would explain some things. I do tend to do that. Oh, well, the more you know. I learned something new today. Burned through 70 limpets with no painite found. Yeah, sounds about right. And dreamy. Next jump. Yeah, I, I dislike RNG. It's... I don't know. To me, personally, RNG just... It seems lazy, in a way. Like, something like this. Like, this game would benefit more from, say, like a set recipe. Where the quality of the mod is determined solely by the quality of the materials that you put into it. And nothing else. That seems like the proper way to do things like this. RNG just seems like nonsense. You mind your way through to a Type 9. That's dedication. I don't know, even the secondary effects, like... I understand that, you know, like, having those things in there can be useful. But relying on secondaries for a build seems... I, I don't know, that, that still, it doesn't seem quite right to me. I'm not sure how to word that. I don't really re like relying on measures of luck for my builds and things to work. Like, if you know how it's going to turn out, you know, precisely how it's going to turn out, then yes, invest the time into the materials, but if you could get secondaries that go and just do whatever for no reason. I don't know, that, that, me personally, I like having more control over things than that, but that's just me. Welcome to this independent station, Commander. Please 
Um, I kind of am. It's better safe than sorry. Cause yeah, if there's any like if there's any chance for me to, you know, be able to do anything, I'm going to I'm going to try. It may not work. It may be a bad idea. It may be a waste of time. But I'm gonna try. specific commodity for a specific secondary that's a better idea because then you're not relying on rng to dictate everything to you is the more control i this is how i look at things the more control over your own play that a player has the better off the game will be as a whole that's me. That's my opinion. That doesn't necessarily, that is, you know, by no means a declaration of I am right. This is how it's going to be. But, you know, that's what I would love to see is something like that. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to put my cell bank back in this thing before I forget. <laughs> Cold <sir. laughs> If that's actually how the interview went, I would laugh incredibly hard. Is that. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say to that. Serious permit on the beta servers, but not in the regular ones. What? How? You know what? Actually, you know what? They might have um, given people access to systems and stuff like that just for the purposes of beta. That could be a thing. Okay, so there's that. Now, the next thing I want to do is related to this guy. This is the long-range, high-yield cannon. Now, you guys have seen me use this on stream several times now. And I do like it. I like it a lot, actually. The more I use it, the more I like it. So I'm going to stick with the long-range mod. However, it is only grade 2. Because that's all I have access to right now. So, I think tomorrow's stream is going to be unlocking the engineers that I need to get this thing up to grade 5. Yes, we are coming up on two hours now, so I'm probably going to call it for today. Now that this is all over with. I will, however, go ahead and switch over to the next the ship that I will probably use tomorrow. Not that one. Probably this guy. More than likely. Alright, there we go. Well, I've been streaming for a couple hours now. Um, I'm probably going to call it for today. So, for those of you who have just shown up recently i'm sorry but my voice is actually starting to you know, get a little bit sore i'm not used to talking to the, this long all the time anymore so as time goes on the streams might get longer but for now uh for now this is pretty much what i got so we will pick up on things tomorrow same time as usual at least, I'm thinking so. Right around... Oh, uh, somewhere between... Somewhere between 8 and 9 p.m. British summertime. No, right in that neighborhood anyway. 
So until tomorrow, guys, I will see you. And if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so. It does help me out quite a bit. And also remember the donation goals. So if we hit the goal by the end of the week, there will be a bonus drunk stream sometime uh, sometime this weekend, probably, probably Saturday. Probably on Saturday. Oh, Akital, you have bad timing, man. Oh, I am calling it good on the stream today, but we are going to be picking up tomorrow, and I'm going to try and stream longer tomorrow, I think, also, because people tend to show up a little bit later sometimes. So, I think that's it for today, so if you haven't liked already, please do so. If you haven't subscribed, that button's just right over there. You know you want to hit it. And remember, as I said before, the donation goals. So if we hit it, we get a drunk stream on the weekend. So, well, I don't know, probably uh, probably resource extraction site. You know, flying in asteroids, Will's drunk. Sounds legit. Let's do it. Ah, oh, Nakthul. Yeah, I'm, I've been streaming for about two hours, so it's about time to call it for me today. So, but on that note, guys... That is it for today. I will see you all tomorrow.